Good morning. I think it's like 9.40 right now. I've been up since 8. I had to get up early today to take care of some things. Did my blog post, got that closet clean out one up. So today I think I'm going to style it. The agenda for today is SLT with Ashby, 10.30. I need to drop some stuff off at the post office. I need to pick up some stuff at the grocery store so I make sure I actually eat today. Have a preliminary phone call for a job. I'm realizing that like the hardest thing about job interviewing is like getting in the front door. Like people will just look at your resume and be like, no, we're good. And then after that, just working on the blog and the videos and whatnot and then at five, I'm meeting a friend for drinks, and then we're gonna go to an advanced screening preview of Isn't It Romantic with Rebel Wilson. So that should be fun. So this is the first time actually doing my hair with my own products and tools since getting my hair cut. So I'm just gonna show you really quick what I'm doing for blow dry. So I'm using the Bioionic 10X hair dryer. This is like the best hair dryer in the world. Um, and then using a large T3 brush. So I know I'm not like super skilled and round brushing, but this is basically all I needed it to do. You can see it just looks a lot shinier over here. All right, today's look. Vineyard Vines, Amazon, Under Armour, mm, Outdoor Voices, Outdoor Voices, Ugg. To the cab. I'm probably gonna bike all the way back, but it has a package that you take to the post office, so it just worked out this way. So we're just about here. See you guys after class. All right, class is done. I am shaking. All of my body is shaking. <laughs> uh, it was good though. Ashby, that was her third day, third class in a row, which is like insane. So now I'm gonna go shift this off. I'm not gonna pick up lunch around here because even though I really, really want to, I should go home and just eat there. There's so much good food around here. All right, we're almost home. I got an electric bike home oh my gosh i was flying down the west side highway it was actually really fun so all about that i uh, also went to the grocery store picked up lunch and a few other things so expensive so for lunch i had chicken mashed potatoes and some sour cream and onion pop chips um, a few of you have been asking for like more like food diary posts i'm pretty sure i share generally everything I'm eating, but I guess I'll be more specific. Um, I don't have a certain diet that I'm sticking to. I'm just kind of, I just like eat when I'm hungry and eat whatever's available. I think he looks so cute. So now what I need to do is before that call, which is at three, I need to shoot the wedding stuff that we got in. So I reached out to Zazzle, and if you guys don't know what Zazzle is, it's basically like an online marketplace to like customize just about anything you could ever want. I reached out to them to work together on, uh, for the wedding. So I want to do the blog post for tomorrow as like what I got from Zazzle and show the pictures. And then after the wedding, I'll show basically like how I used everything. So I basically just moved the ottoman over. So I will show you guys first, and then I will start to lay everything out. First thing is cocktail napkins for the parties. So this is just our wedding crest. We just put it on a napkin, a white little cocktail napkin. And then we also got, so the same size napkin, but just our monogram on it. So one with the crest and one just monogram. We're gonna put them out around the house for the welcome part. And then in this box, so you guys know I'm making a skirt out of the print. On Zazzle, I was able to make Andrew a tie. This will be the tie for the party on Friday. So he'll be wearing this and I'll wear the matching skirt. So really pretty. And then on the back, you're able to also pick the color of the tie. Um, it's a really nice tie. It feels really nice. I don't know much about ties, but the print came out really nicely on it as well. And then we also got socks for all of like the guys at the wedding with our wedding print. They're just like regular cotton socks with black heel and toe. I wish there would have been like a blue option. And also, so when you design these socks, you print this side and you print this side and you can like do whatever, but you don't get to like really figure out how to line them up. So it's not totally lined up normally. 
like a better view is right here like it's just kind of doubled but nobody's been really looking at like the front seam it's really going to be about like the side angle anyway this one you guys saw a little sneak peek of but this is a king size duvet cover so we're going to put this um in the house where we're staying on one of the beds and one side, I'll show you guys this when I unfold it to take pictures. One side has like a larger print, and the other side has a, a other side has a smaller print, just so we could have some variety. I got a ton of golf balls for the guys, just a regular golf ball, but then we put our monogram on the side of it. Next, these are stickers for the welcome boxes. So these are just circular stickers with our crust, and then we also got smaller stickers um, just for anything else we may need. These are four by five and these are three by two. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take pictures of everything, lay them out in a cute way. All right, just got done with my phone call. Literally just hung up. I am like sweating. Oh my gosh, I'm shaking. I could, I could not control my nerves and I'm like really angry with myself about it. I don't know what made me so anxious about it, but it just did. And I think I like really, really, really want this job. Everything he was saying, I always take my phone calls by the window because that is where I get the best service. And I'm taking it and I'm writing notes and he's asking me questions. And for some reason I am talking a mile a minute and I just cannot control my nerves. And I'm sweating and I'm shaking and I can't write. I'm like this, I can't write even more than I already could. And it was just, I'm like a little frustrated. This is what I always do post, you know, something like this is what, what, well, how did I do? What could I have done better? And what are my next steps? I don't know if it came off to him, like I was talking a mile a minute, but I was. And I don't know if it came off to him that my voice was shaky because it was, but I hope he just thinks that I'm just like, this is normal me. One of the things he said that he was looking for in the candidate is to be confident and articulate. And I am both of those things, but I am afraid that I did not come off like that on <laughs> the phone call. I'm like angry with myself, but like also I, no, I believe in my ability. I know I'm a good person for this role. Everything he was saying, I was like, done that, done that, done that, done that. And it was just, <sighs> I like, I'm trying to calm down, but I can't. So what I could have done better is been less shaky and excited and nervous. I could have, you know, slowed down my talk, just like when I get into meetings. I know exactly what I'm talking about and I'm confident in my words, but I talk so fast and that is just something I've always done, even public speaking. But I'm, I'm never talking so fast, I'm stumbling over my words. I'm always talking fast like this, where it's just da, 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 da. <sighs> So I wish I would have done that better, but he said in terms of next steps, I should hear back one way or another beginning of next week. I believe in myself in this job and I think I'd be amazing at it and perfect and I really want it. And so now in terms of next steps, I am going to email him. Um, I'm going to put together a thoughtful thank you response. Um, I'm gonna go over some key things that we talked about in our phone interview and kind of reiterate, you know, why I am the best person for this role. <gasps> but I need to calm down first. Ugh. Now I'm like chill. Why couldn't I have been like that on the phone? I was even standing in my Superman pose. I was looking over the city. I was like, yeah. And I talked to him and was like, yeah. <laughs> you know what, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out, but I am gonna believe in myself you got this. All right, so I just wrote my thank you email. I sent it off to Alicia. She's like my mentor. And then I also sent it off to my sister who's like a bad ass leech. They both are. Um, to review, it was pretty long. They're gonna look over it and let me know how it looks. And in the meantime, I'm going to edit the video I'm supposed to be posting tonight. So today I'm going to that movie premiere. So it's gonna kind of be a late night for me because I need to edit the video I'm supposed to go to, out today. And then I also need to edit the images I just took. I'm uploading to my computer and I can't do that when I'm uploading video and blah, blah, blah. You guys know the drill. So I'm gonna try and knock this out and hopefully see you guys in not like five hours or something. We need to probably leave 5.30. Okay, so it's 3.20 right now. We're just gonna get down to business and I'll just catch you guys a little bit later. It is 4.30. My 
disc is almost full, which is the story of my life. So to curl my hair, I use the T3 wand. It's the interchangeable wand, but I really only use, I think it's, it's either the one and a half or one inch barrel. I don't need to curl it, but told you guys that we would test it out together. No! The export failed. So now what I need to do is I need to force quit everything and then shut down and then restart and it'll free up some more room. So what I do is I edit a chunk of video and I save that video as a whole and call it part one. And then I upload that to my desktop. And then I delete all the other stuff taking up space. I edit the next section of it, save it as part two, upload it to my desktop. So when all my parts are done, I grab those, I drop them in my iMovie, and then just upload them all together, and usually by then I have space. It's a very complicated process, let me tell you. Now how much space do we have? Now I got 10 gigs of space. I got nothing but room. All right, there's no real rhyme or reason of how thick or what type of curls. I'm just kind of doing whatever. So I'm doing more of like a beachy natural curl. So I'm not holding the curler for too long. I'm changing the way I curl the hairs, just however I feel like it, and not curling the ends. So one way is to like flatten the hair against the barrel, re-grab it and twist it each time, which makes like a nice little curl. Or for more laid back beachy vibe, you just hold it and wrap it so it eventually it'll twist itself against the barrel. Hey, just up uploaded. And so that's how it looks. You see the difference between this versus this? Kind of, sort of. So when I say mixing it up with the curling style, that is what I mean. Right away, before these are cooled down, you brush them together and what I do, I like forcibly fold them behind my ear so that this curl will start to frame my face. Now we'll just get to the other side and then I'll show you guys what I put in my hair after. So I'm just gonna brush my fingers through it, and this is what it looks like. This side, I was watching um, a Jeffree Star video, <laughs> and I got a little bit too caught up. So you could definitely tell like a few seconds versus like 10 seconds. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in some Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray, which is like my very favorite. It smells so good. I need this side to like fall some more. Both sides look cute. I just wish they looked even. I'm gonna continue getting ready. And I'll see you guys probably a little bit before we head out. I just put a little bit on that like inner line, the dark circle is. So I like this formula a lot because it's lightweight. It's super light reflecting, so you don't need a ton. It's just a nice thing to put on top of either your makeup that you already have on or like this where you don't have any makeup on. You just want to conceal and cover up. Right, Dixie? So just kind of patting this in and moving it around with my fingers. This is like my no makeup go-to routine. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Beach Stick. It's like a blush and highlighter in one. It just gives me some extra color. Just kind of blending that out with my stippling brush. This is from Smashbox. Really just that inner glow day after the beach. See how it's a little bit of highlighter too. Just looks really fresh faced. If I wanted to go one step further, I'd put on a touch of mascara, but I don't want to, so. So this is the look for the movie. These, this is a JQ sweater. My new bobble bar earrings, which kind of blend in my hair. Mountain bow jeans, and then my Rebecca Taylor boots. So I'm trying to decide what jacket to wear. I'm thinking maybe fur coat might look cute with this. They went for the blogger look. I lied, I changed my entire outfit. So the Rebecca Minga boots obviously are new and they are like a light suede and it's raining out so I don't want them to get ruined. So I had to change my shoes and then the shoes didn't match the jacket and the jacket didn't match the earrings, you know the process. So these are actually the booties that I was gonna get rid of so I thought, you know, if they get ruined, we good. And then I threw on a super old Regent a black watch plaid jacket which I love and then because it has gold buttons I wanted to match it with gold earrings so this is the new look yeah that'll do and what's nice is that they gave us a lift code to get to and from the event so I'm gonna head out and meet Katie at the Knickerbocker and then we'll head over to the movie I don't know um you know how I get around people like being like, hey, <laughs> filming in front of them. So TBD if you'll see anything, but I hope you do. And maybe I'll see you soon, maybe I won't. Also this bag holds everything. 
I have an umbrella in here. All right, so the movie just got out. It was cute, like really cute. Obviously it's a, a mocking romantic comedies, but like it itself was a romantic comedy and that's, you know, the, the plot of the whole movie. It's a pretty cheesy rom-com, but I love Rebel Wilson. So now I'm just waiting for my Lyft ride home. Um, it was good seeing Katie and catching up. We actually hadn't seen each other about a year and a half maybe. We were at the same press event for um, an outlet store. So it was good seeing her. Now I'm just going to head home if my Lyft driver knew which way to go. Ugh. So it is about 11. 15 well it's exactly 11 15 just finished editing that video and i'm in the process of uploading it which is gonna take about 47 minutes and i need to go through the images i took today about all the wedding stuff i need to go through and edit it and i also need to write a blog post about it so kind of stinky so i'm gonna be up for a while but i'm gonna shut off here so i will see you guys tomorrow